Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at three different items that levitate in three different price ranges to see if any of them actually work. That's today's video. All right, I'm not sure if you would really call these gadgets or decorative pieces, but they're definitely three items that levitate. So let me get started and show you what I've got here. The first one, this one was on the low end of the spectrum. I think I paid 27 bucks for this one. It's just a levitating globe. And all three of these are kind of generic. I don't think they really have any brand names with them, but it just says globe floating and rotating in midair. Good desk decoration or good promotion gift. The ratings for the globe are kind of hit and miss, but the next item, which is in the mid range, I think I paid 85 bucks for this one. This one ratings are a little bit higher for. All the box says, is moon lamp magnetic levitation that's it no brand nothing so we'll see how this one goes and on the high end of the price range this one i think i paid 135 dollars for this is a levitating desk lamp and ufo usb speaker this is the one i'm really excited about because if it looks half as good as the photos it'll be pretty cool so i'm going to unbox these i think some of them have to be charged um, and i'll probably try them out tonight when i can get dark and see how they light up first up let's try the globe chinese instructions Oh, wait, English. This is what I saw first. I was thinking, oh, I'm in trouble here, but they do have English on the backside. Wow, the globe is small. That's it. Wow, that's very small and, and cheap. See, it looks bigger than the photos, as always. There's a, looks like a, a power cord. Don't know what that is. They call this the floating frame. Floating frame here. Okay. I mean, it all feels pretty cheap, but as long as it works, right? All right, so this one does not charge, so I can just plug this one right in. Let's unbox the moon lamp now. All right, well, let's see what we got. It's weird, it's, the weight seems like it's all on one side. I guess that's where the magnet's at. It's kind of a featureless looking moon, but maybe when it lights up, it won't be. That's what we got. All right, power cord, remote control, very fancy. User manual. I'll get to this when I go to set it up. And I don't know what this is. It's a piece of foam. The base is very heavy. I mean, it's cheap material, but there's something heavy inside, I guess a magnet. I'm perusing these instructions there. A little bit hard to understand. This has certainly been translated and not translated very well. If the user fails to hang the light within five minutes, maybe the base will be hot. Maybe not. How does that light up? I thought this lit up. Oh, well. There's a pretty powerful magnet in there. Wow. Wow, I can feel that. All right, this is gonna be fun. Let's unbox this one now. I've never seen packaging like this before. I don't even know how to get this out of here. It's well packaged, I'll say that. They even got it taped up. Well, here's my UFO. All right, it's a cool looking UFO. I like it. Very nice. There's a cable. Now for all of these, the comments said it was a little bit hard to get it in the right spot to balance. So that's something I'm going to have to figure out. So first I got to charge the UFO on this one. So I'm going to have to wait a couple hours before I can actually try this one out. This one pairs with your phone because you're supposed to play music through there. So that's going to be kind of fun. All right, so I'm going to charge the UFO, read all these instructions, and I'll come back in a little bit and see how they work. All right, let's get down and dirty and see how this thing actually works. Plug it in. And we have light, that's good. It seems kind of cheap now that I look at it. It's like there's plastic that's coming apart there. Very, very cheap. All right, so if I just put it up there, it's gonna stick. Look, it floats. According to the instructions, you're supposed to use this auxiliary tool. So we're supposed to put this in between the North Pole and the top of the product, and then pull it out. All right, and it floats. That's all it does. I mean, I guess it looks pretty neat I don't know let me turn the lights off and see if the light makes it better because right now it's all right I'm a little bit underwhelmed it is floating I give them that it is floating I don't think you can really turn it it seems like it would be very touchy to turn all right well I mean I guess for 27 bucks it's not terrible it's kind of small it's kind of cheap and it's not as impressive as I hoped it would be but you know it's a good start it's on the low end of the range and it definitely works I can't say it doesn't work it works that's all you really care about right let's try the moon next All right, it's plugged in. You actually tap it here to turn it on and off. It's not real clear when it turns on and off, but this doesn't charge or anything. It just supposedly sits on there, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Let's see. Whoa, it just lit up. Oh, I can actually hear something. Oh, 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 whoa. That is so cool, and it's rotating on its own, too. Now that is something that I can geek out about. Very nice. All right, I'm leaving the lights off for this one. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, you can kind of feel it catch. Very cool, very realistic looking up close. Can I rotate it? Oh yeah. That's so neat. The moon is a hit and it doesn't have to be recharged so it can just kind of go as long as you want to. I'm surprised, I didn't have low expectations but my expectations were exceeded whatever they were. That's a really nice effect. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with it. It looks really nice. I forgot there's a remote control with this. It has a timer you can go 15, 30, 45, or 60 minutes so it turns off. Let me see what happens when you hit the white color. Oh wow, that looks good too. Oh, I'm really geeking out on this thing. What happens when I turn it off? What does it do? Oh, it stays there. So even when it's off, it still floats. Wow. All right, it's time for the UFO. Now I've already got the moon back there as part of my set because I like it so much, but the UFO should be simple. Let's try it out. Now when I first got out of the packaging, I thought it went like this for some reason. Almost looks like this could be the base, but no, it's actually like this. And on the bottom of the UFO, there's a button right there that you push to pair with your phone, which I'm gonna do right now. Here's my phone and you can see it's got UFO right there. That was simple enough. I can't play the music I want to play because of copyright stuff, but I'll play something on here to make sure it works after we get the UFO levitated. Now when you plug it in, there's a button down here you press to get the lights on and it lit up. Off, on. Now for levitating, all you should have to do is just place it. It just disconnected my Bluetooth when I put it above the magnet. That's weird. I didn't like that. It's very touchy getting it, getting it to float. I can do it. Come on. I can feel it, it's almost there. By the way, this does charge the UFO wirelessly as well when you leave it on the stand when it's not levitating. Yeah, this alien tech, Norse Bob Lazar, we need him. Oh, I got it, there it is. I got it, it is floating. Okay, now we turn the light on. Oh, let's play some music. Ooh, let me turn the lights off. Get a little mood going on here for the UFO USB speaker. That was not easy to put on there, I'm gonna say. People in the comments say that it's, you get used to it, but that's gonna take a little bit. Wow, that was actually pretty fun. Once I got it in place, which was a bit of an effort by the way, but supposedly it gets easier over time. It actually looks really nice. It works well. The speaker's pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's good enough. It's a nice display. It actually wirelessly charges it. So I think the UFO speaker, it's a bit expensive, but if you get one, I think you're gonna like it. Moon lamp also is something that's actually quite visually pleasing. I'm gonna leave it there, in fact. The globe is maybe moderately impressive. It's not as impressive as the others. And the price tag kind of warrants that as well. This is just a a short quick video if any of you have used these products tell me what you think in the comments below i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you next time